Hello everyone, this is Bobo the Vulture. I'm Serious GG. And uh, this game saves data automatically at certain points, so don't power off the system. Yeah, That'd folks, be bad. Don't turn off your computer right in the middle of listening to us. Yeah. What is this game anyway? This is, um, well this game is uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Uh, oh. We're going to play it uh, together even though it's, well I mean it has two player elements. Well we're not going to snake in, but yeah we're playing the one player mode with two people. Yeah. And we're in post game shenanigans, except that I think as I revealed in the last video, there is supposed to be an ending after this, so. There's there's more to the game from yeah. what I've been told. Which is interesting because you could definitely play up through this point and think that, oh okay, I got the credits. I got as much of a resolution as I'm going to find. Yeah. We and saved the world it. from Peace Walker. Yeah, we sure did. The um, the basic plot was Spike from Cowboy Bebop, except he's Russian, shows up uh, and tells us to go stop America. But actually, all along, his plan was to steal America's super weapon, which that one guy wanted to launch in order to prove deterrence theory or something. But the evil Russian guy wanted to launch it to make everyone hate America. We prevented it from being launched, so they were kind of both America and Russia are bad guys and we're good. So that's kind of how it went. But at yeah. this point, we have our own uh, Metal Gear that isn't completed, that we're building just for fun, I guess. But we've stopped uh, the American-made Metal Gear from wrecking everything. Except it's not called Metal Gear, it was just called Peace Walker. But was thinking about dispatching troops to fight Skunk and his armada of helicopters. Yeah. Pipe fish and sparrow can take care of this problem. <laughs> <laughs> I appear to be sending out the fish police here. <laughs> We've got ocean sunfish, starfish, and pipe fish all going out. Yeah. Um you batted some aquatic friends to the land forces. <laughs> yes. All right, let's dispatch that team. Defend the key base. Wow. These are getting very difficult. Oh, uh, what would happen if I sent Vulture out and he died, though? <laughs> I don't know. It's you would uh would you die? I don't really understand that. For sure, sure. neither. All right. I'll you go can't, ahead. And you can't take Vulture out of the end. He's too valuable. Well. Also, I mean, you know, it's it's what he do. Well, yeah. so I should probably. Wow, this is apparently a plus difficulty. Oh, that is multiple hunts for multiple cats. All right, so uh, let's get out of there. Um, now I believe last time you were saying that I think it's my. No, wait, it isn't my turn because I defeated the last like. You defeated the yeah, tail no, end. Yeah, I of defeated the last mission, which was like kind <laughs> by of a shooting it with the machine gun. Yeah, approach. it was kind of a like. It kind of doesn't count if you want to start this time. I well, feel like. I think the next thing we have to do is actually, f um, in order to uh, build Metal Gear Zeke, which is one of the things you need to do to continue the story. I think we need to fight the AI bosses again. Option like replay those side ops or yeah. not side ops, but yeah, replay those to get more mech parts to build Zeke. I think that's standing in the way of the ending. Okay. I think we could play any side op to unlock the next little piece of secret story. Secrets. Well, let's go to the mission selector here, let's anyways, and selection. find out what's going on because that's also where we would go to listen to some tapes. We have new party member with us. She'll do we got a new full recovery mission. That's a no-brainer. We got to do that. Oh, that's true. DFSLN POW. Fifteen minutes. Rescue a POW held beyond the suspension bridge. Ooh. In Los Santos. Oh yeah, you remember this area where there was the suspension bridge and it's yeah. fairly early on, but yeah, I think I remember it. All right. So there's guys on the other side of that. We have to cross the suspension Probably. bridge to rescue dudes. Base defense. Base defense allowing particularly to enter and you're boned. But you're saying the thing that we need to do is fight not the cocoon, but DJ Chrysalis. I think we have to fight DJ Chrysalis. The problem is, at the moment, your internet's down, so like the laptop that we can't conveniently check is where I went to get that info. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we can't, like... I suppose for future reference we could pull up a fac on a phone, but it would be... But, yeah, we can. It's, it, we, it's not convenient for us to have, like, multiple facts for multiple cats at our fingertips right now, but... Yeah. I think we gotta do the chrysalis battle again, but I think like according to the one fact that's specified, that's how you get the railgun. I didn't do like a a Google search for that. I just one fact mentioned getting the railgun from the chrysalis battle, and it says you need an S rank. 
And those have been tough to get with the boss fights because you run out of ammo. Yeah, I don't even know. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the guy's full. Well, we'll have the battle suit. That might help. It'll we'll have help. some more. Ammo. We'll have we'll more. Have another weapon and more weapons. Although maybe there's enough to blow up the thing in one shot without using. A, yeah. Or maybe you can use it a certain number of times, just not too many times, and you have to keep your ration loose low. Snake, that's the chrysalis weapon Huey was referring to. You know what to do. Well, yeah, I've done it before. Boom! Well, Bobo has. I never even got to fight this one. I mean, do you want to fight it? Do you want to give it a shot? I, I thought that was the plan. Do you want to take it on? Oh, okay. No, I, I was still holding the controller. That was the only reason I was... Yeah, I wasn't sure if you can hand it to me. No, if you want to fight no, it here, again, go ahead. Go ahead, do it. All right. Give it a shot. I should have checked when we started this. Also, let's take a look at the... Uh, I mean, thankfully, we're already in our, like... Anti-boss Fighting, motor, yeah. yeah um, super weapon uh, gear. You wanna? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. We oh, still have an extra person. The boss is okay. Stranger Love Sim. Oh, we have more data files now. Strange Love Simulation and the boss's final mission. Maybe I don't know. That's weird. You would think that. And now we can find out more about France. Surprised there's new stuff to be heard. Like, nobody seems to be saying much about the end of the game. Professor Gal. Oh, maybe we'll ask her about Hey, what about that weird professor? <laughs> yeah. Professor Galvez was a KGB spy? Shocking. I thought he helped me out of genuine concern for Costa Rica's future. Yeah, he wants it to be a satellite you state. How could I? We well, are asked better me. call he somebody. He introduced himself as a peace researcher <laughs> at the university. He had an office and credentials and everything. They're masters at creating cover personas. They think of everything. Like creating like the job of a jobs, peace researcher. <laughs> Don't feel bad you didn't. Inventing the idea of but peace universities. You did? From the first time we met. I wish you had told me. Sorry. No spike, you never fool big boss right. slash solid snake you might slash. Have mixed up in things you should Well, I guess they have a kind of fool. Like man. being kidnapped? Sizing you off at a single glance. <laughs> he reeked. Reeked? He had this of awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> the air of someone who's been given a mission and will see it through no matter what. Like me. I could just smell it. That's amazing, Snake. Uh, Snake, do I smell? This is prosthetic hand. Why uh. would a professor from a peace university need a tool for assassination? No, oh, it's a peace hand. He even That's used the V sign. It was a peace assassination. Yeah, what is she gonna do? You're gonna I learn your role, on Mother. Face. Name it. I'm gonna send I want you out of outer ops mission. I want to help out. You sure? You just went through a hell of a time. You should probably take it easy until you. Of course, you've been freeloading for a long time before that. But there must be something I can do. You would not want me near a gun, but I am a decent. Oh, wow, this cook. Now there's a skill we can use. Put me on the mess hall team. I think I can handle it. Once I get used to it. I will even add in some Costa Rican recipes. Sounds you know, like the ones that theoretically I know better than the other ones. <laughs> let's back out of here for a minute and um, go assign her to the. Uh, her to, yeah, it's like I think we. Need go, to, go assign her to the uh, military team. I was going to assign her to like the intelligence you would not want, team. You would not want me with a gun, but I'm pretty good with grenades. <laughs> Assign me to a team where I can find monsters. Oh wait, that is someone else. <laughs> so that sounded kind of like Cecile. Oh, strange love. Wait, uh, details, details, details. Triangle. Yeah. Why, this legendary hero forced to betray her country. Was she targeted for assassination by you, her most beloved disciple? I've no use for fabrications. I want the truth. The boss's last will. Also, you can look at me sexily from all kinds of angles. All right. What's promising young scientist at NASA? Doc Strangelove later moved to DARPA and devoted herself to AI research. Hung out with Sigan. She's a misanthrope. She is a rickenslope and rarely deems herself to show herself around other people. Hazel. Sniffing at them tortilla chips. So yeah, it's basically if you want to 
that does not appear to be a way to zoom into underwear. Now that was only for uh, Amanda during one specific plot scene. Yeah. Hey, it's right. decoy octopus. Don't be. I don't know. We could do better than armor. this. Wait. Oops. There we go. No, 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 no. My name is Pasta, and I'll do anything to protect my namesake. Also, that being, of or course, steel. Ortega, the the you know, yeah, brand uh, of Mexican food that you can buy at the grocery store. Yeah. Um, she does have the skill of home cooking. What does that uh, do for her? Oh, what does that do? When part of the mess hall team increases morale of all MSF staff. Well, there you go. She's going to increase our morale. A young, peace-loving Costa Rican girl. She is a pupil of Professor Galvez, studying her country's peace constitution at the nascent University for Peace. She's, she's kidnapped nice by boots. a mysterious group that has begun to spread throughout Costa Rica. A mysterious yeah, group. Got, like, a mysterious group. Mysterious. Yeah. Um, Professor, together with Galvez, she has come to seek MSS help in removing the invaders from the country. Her name, Paz, means peace in Spanish. There you go. So what is she going to do? She's going to be in the research team, which makes good sense. <laughs> AI, no, it's uh, AI would have like, AI can be installed on Metal Gear Zeke. Oh. So we couldn't actually build Zeke before we got her, it sounds like, unless it turns out unless that- Unless Huey had that <laughs> skill Huey also too. Has that. Bipedal weapons design. When part of R&D team, a development mission, what, what? You can for, yeah, no, it was just basically, it's a different description, but I think you need them both before yeah. you can do uh, anything at all. Four by three portrait. Support strike. Support strike marker three. three. Rene. Mate. Walkman. Walkman rank three. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Okay, she, she got assigned to the combat unit. Check the mess unit. Make sure that... Uh, no, she did not get assigned to the combat unit. Well, the she got, a, got yeah, yeah. assigned to where she needs to be. Pass to Sue Miller. All of our useless characters. Sorry, Miller. What? I mean, <laughs> cooking is one of... <laughs> who's that big hog? Chico is the leader of the intel team. Where did Amanda end up? Excuse me. Um, I think is Amanda still in the uh, sick unit, sick bay? She no, be. she's not. Uh, is she in prison because she's intensely hostile. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Zardanov is, and he has maximum. I am Vladimir Zardanov, and Vladimir means ruler of peace. He has the ultimate in prison sickness. <laughs> I think that means ultimate hostility. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mr. Limpets. Yeah, now I'm wondering where, uh, what's her face went. Um, maybe, uh, I got her killed in a mission. I don't think you can get her killed. Although... I should put her in all the missions! <laughs> I think, uh, her, um... Her dialogue we've been hearing is all on tape, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. Although, there she is. Yeah, she's like... She's got an arrow pointing down, indicating what? Um, like she's... Like, she there like, was a plot thing earlier where she was injured. Um, yeah. But she refused to stay in the sick bay. Could we put her there now? Because she has maximum mushroom She's supposed to be in the combat there. unit anyway, because it's good for morale. Well, yeah, but... Let's see where she is. In the combat unit, is she ranked number one? With the bullet? No. Well, no, because her skills are, like, down to almost nothing because she's severely sick. Those those dark red bars are where her skills actually Fine. are. That's not, not the medical team. Here, go get other people <laughs> sick. <laughs> go infest the rest. Uh, sick bay? That's what I tried to do. Where did she end up? Go down oh. again. Yes. And there she is. Nah. Leave her in there. Okay. Now, of course, this means that the morale of the combat team is going to go down and Vulture's going to die in the next mission. Well, I mean, the morale was already low because she was, like, dying in the uh, kitchen. <laughs> or, uh, no, the intel team was where she was slowly being destroyed. Oh, okay. So, I guess full recovery is the mission that would be most fun, but we're going to take a shot here at the, uh... 
Excuse me, party you gone. Probably gone back too far. Be after the pupa battle. Yeah, Chris there it is. Battle. There we go. Fight that Snake. DJ. That's the Skip it. All right. You, you know, know what, what to do. do. Take off every zig. Yeah. So briefing files. We'll go ahead and listen to everybody else's. Oh, he's got not any stuff to say. Yeah, he does. Queen B. Uh, queen B. Sure. By the way, Kaz, who do you think's our Queen B? Good question. I was thinking maybe Poss. How are you? I was thinking Strange Love. Well, I can see that. Or maybe Cecile. On second thought, I might go with Amanda. We just listed all the female characters day, in the game. We'll have an army of Queen Bees. Sure. Why not? Hey, Cause, who's your favorite Rumble Roses character? <laughs> what the fuck? Linux! <laughs> I don't know, I don't really trust a robot. <laughs> He was all about uh, Lady X. <laughs> yeah, he is. Can you believe the CIA and KGB were actually in cahoots? Never no. thought I'd see that at the station chief level. But I'd heard stories of operatives in the field being on friendly terms. Oh, I thought. Seriously, most espionage. Wait, they were working together? Hotspots, as you'd expect. But there aren't that many of those kinds of places, especially in a small country. Hang around long enough, and you're bound to run into fellow spies. Like it or not, uh, like you it. start saying hello, and soon enough you're eating dinner together. Mm -hmm. Strange bedfellows, huh? Well, I don't know about that. At any rate, this kind of fiasco is what happens when um, spies It's not like I would sleep with a spy or that steal the uh, philosopher's legacy. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I would do it. I don't know. If it suits their interests. Mm -hmm. The strength of human is in its appeal to human emotions. But its weakness is in its susceptibility to those same emotions. What about That's the weakness the of Sigint? the intelligence world is shifting uh -huh. towards Sigint. A network of cold... Damn right it is. Data, yeah, bitch. Where feelings are irrelevant. Yeah, because Sigint actually is a term as opposed to a uh, yeah. guy. Yes. Snake. You got a sec? What's up? No. Prime Minister Gary of Grenada is asking the UN to set up a... Here on such familiar terms. <laughs> Prime Minister Gary is the that son of Professor Oker. Yeah, it's Prime Matthew Minister Oaks. Gary is the uh, rival to Prime Minister Ash. One of them caught my eye. That's the... Yep. The weapon Huey called the chrysalis. Because <laughs> this is the photo I gave to Chico. He said something about selling it off as a photo of a UFO. Looks like it found its way into the pages of a magazine. Take Look, the Prime Minister of a country. Believe tabloid trash like that. Well, it's true There's as it turns out. <laughs> all over the Americas of abductions and cattle mutilations lately. By Chico. Uh, you think that true? <laughs> I think the CIA might be involved. The if they are, then Gary could be. I know. Our Pokemon, Pokemon master. Pokemon rival. Get himself into trouble. But Grenada's right next door to Cuba. I guess that would make it tough for the CIA to intervene. In a sense. In Upsetting another sense, it wouldn't. The balance of power could cause it to go red all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> and then you'd have well, to put case, cream on ointment on it like and avoid scratching. About it. Just wanted to let you know. Gotcha. I'll be careful not to let any more photos leak. Speaking of leak. Yeah. Oh, great. More stuff about uh, Shay. Shay's yeah, footsteps, footsteps and the yeah. size of his footsteps. Feet. Follow. Whose hey, footsteps Snake. are these? I've been Shay Guevara's. Maybe Shay couldn't find a place for himself outside the battlefield. Shay who? We were just talking about he cattle mutilations. Revolution to victory. That's quite an accomplishment. He could have called it quits there and nobody would have blamed him. I but he left behind a loving family and a cabinet post to plunge back into the struggle. First in the Congo, then in Bolivia where he met his end. You're overthinking yeah. things. Shay went back to the battlefield because he was needed yeah. there. Read his farewell letter, then you'll understand. You Some say he was too idealistic to fit in with the government. Take that back! But all we know is he's Most cold likely. to stick! Maybe so. But I still can't help thinking the reason you look up to Che is because you see something of yourself in him. I you never said I looked up to the rest of you people battle. are talking about him. Wander from one battlefield che would another, definitely have developed an army of child soldiers to help build this nuclear battle tank. He took up arms to fight for his beliefs. I don't do what I do for any ideology. I'm a warrior. <laughs> nothing more. <laughs> nothing less. Okay, right boss, now. You're right. Just he wanted to see how warrior. we stacked up against a Thanks, real Colonel. hero. A real American hero? I guess not. Yeah, we put for freedom wherever there's trouble. Stop Yay, more Kaz information. <laughs> Kazmation. March 10th, 1945. 
381,300 cluster bombs were dropped on Tokyo. Oops. Japanese houses at the time were almost all made of wood. In that now they're made day, of straw. A third of Tokyo burned to the ground. My mom lost her family and home in that raid. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't she have executed the Chinese like cattle. With her cousin. Oh, sorry. The B-29s kept on coming, raising other major cities throughout Japan without mercy. Then, in August, they dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and Japan surrendered to the United States at last. Oh, After that, Yokosuka was flooded Yokozuna? with American soldiers yeah. come to occupy the country. My mother was still in her mid-teens. And she learned from her cousin how to survive in that town by servicing the troops. That's mm -hmm. how she met my father and how I was born. So I'm grateful my for was an white officer Ra serving with the government section of Allied GHQ under General Whitney. Whitney was known as MacArthur's shadow. Whitney and my Houston. father rode his coattails to a pretty high rank. While he was in Japan, he treated my mom like a wife. After he went back to the States, though, she never heard from him. Just like I his wife. I wasn't born until after he went back. My mom raised me as a single mother. She used That's to why I'm a single mother to today. Open a shop selling cigarettes and stuff to occupation troops. It was a decent living, but I didn't have citizenship. They're working to change the law now, but back then, if your father was unknown, you couldn't get onto the Japanese family register. And in Japan, that means you can't be Japanese. So as I watched the American soldiers around town, I said to myself, what a I'm a son of America, word. the victor. <laughs> My hair and eyes were different from the skinny, downtrodden Japanese around me. I used to beat I told them. Myself I'd I kept on giving someday, big thumbs up and, and saying, Okay! <laughs> when I was around ten years old, my mom fell ill, pretty much leaving me to run the shop in her place. One day I found a single picture of my father in the back of a drawer in the shop. I'd show it to the American soldiers who came into the store. A few years went by before one of them told me who he was. Uncle I know Sam. him, that's Miller. I started asking other guys. Do you know where Miller is now? Can anybody said, no, but I know what time Colonel it is. Miller is now? It's Miller. It turns out he'd left the service and was making a living as an instructor for soldiers in Virginia. It was one of his students who finally told me that. I wrote him a letter in English. I'm your son. I want to go to the United States. Day after day, I waited. And just when I was about to give up, the post office delivered my future to the door. My it was a Walkman of I Sony. I thought my dream was going to come true. I was only thinking of myself, so I went to my bedridden mother and convinced her to let me go. My father arranged for a car to pick me up. It was jet black. It's a secret UN helicopter car. When the neighborhood car. kids yes. who'd always made fun of my hair saw it, their jaws practically hit the ground. I put my mom in a hospital and went on my own. <laughs> that said, everyone else in the morgue. Father, the I went to America today. He told me he'd lost his son. His American son in Vietnam. And I would he have to a do. Picture, uh, a picture of my older brother. Who looked Japanese, it was weird. Divorce left my father feeling lonely, which is probably why he finally took an interest in me. He'd retired from teaching. He was stooped over, could hardly walk. He'd but been he teaching kids things. to crab walk. The name Miller and money for school. I used it to learn English and then go to college. I thought he knew English. America was exhausted from years of fighting in Vietnam. They were waging war in a foreign land, while at home, people were screaming for peace. Peace screamer. Right after I graduated, I went back to Japan, alone. And afraid. My father refused to see my mom. It was the first time I'd seen her in years, and she wouldn't even look at me. At first, I thought she was mad at me, but that wasn't it. Disease had taken her mind. A disease she got while she was young and desperate. She didn't even know who I was. I said, Mom, it's me, Kazuhira. As I spoke, the sound of my own voice rang in my ears. It sounds like yeah. I got the disease, too. The name my mom gave me. It means peace in Japanese. Well, Kaz doesn't Japanese. know us that Snake has actually least, left the room at this point. I was the son of this yeah. tiny Japanese woman. It was then, for the first time, that I understood the reason, the emotion that inspired my mother to give me that name. She'd watched her hometown and family go up in flames. Her body and her mind were ravaged by war. I'm sorry, you say and something. Yet she chose to have a child named Peace with a man who was once her enemy. I don't know Japan how much choice is involved in but two what of those good three. Is war as a measure of a country. Absolutely. And up until the oil shock last year, Japan's economy has grown every single year. It's on its way to becoming a stronger country than ever. Yeah, it's what I happens when you Japan have to rebuild from the, the roots. Mm -hmm. I was 22 at the time. 
I did it to pay our bills. But it wasn't just that. I could have found work anywhere. They loved the half Japanese guy who left the country and learned English. I didn't think of anything else to do with myself. Two years later, I didn't have to worry about mom's hospital bills anymore. She Thanks, won the Obamacare. Oh. SDF and went back to the States. My father was already dead and buried. I was told he'd shot himself in the head. That's great. Thanks. America Claire. crushed Japan. Thanks, but Kojima. But it also crushed my father. My American dream was over. Oh, that, Dusty. I drifted around and... Well, you know the rest. Remember that thing where I wanted to destroy you with a grenade and then you defeated me and something... It made Japan's peace constitution and the JSDF. And it made me. I was spawned by war. But I don't want to die in one. I want to be murdered by Liquid country, Snake. And I won't live like a pauper. I won't have my fate decided by some family register. I want to be killed by one of your you clones. Must, <laughs> I've got a good feeling none of that will happen. Yeah, in order to avoid dying in war, I'm going to stick with you, big boss. <laughs> also, I don't want to die in war, which is why the time that we met, I was lying bleeding out on a battlefield and decided I was going to pull a pin to a grenade the moment I lured you in. I think he's meant to have figured this out since I don't know. The yeah. one thing, he, he, like, he, ten minutes ago when he mentioned Japan <laughs> surrendering, just by random chance the other day, I... I found on Wikipedia an English translation of the Emperor's speech mm. uh, to the people. And, like, A, well, I don't know if Wikipedia is your, your best source. Wikipedia basically contends, yeah, it's pretty much accepted that he was directly responsible for war crimes and that the Americans and Japanese agreed to whitewash that after the fact to ease the transition. Mm. And that he was, like, directly ordering. That's what Wikipedia says. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. But the this, this translation speech is pretty interesting because he uses... It's a very East, it's very Asian speech. He uses the phrase that because the fortune of wars have not turned in Japan's favor, I have, you know, decided that we should consider cooperating with the, um, we should consider cooperating with the uh, recent outcome of the Potsdam Conference, which had re required the unconditional surrender of Japan. It's like because the fortunes of war have not turned to the, it's like he never says yeah. we surrender anywhere in the speech. It's you know, very, <laughs> very Eastern kind yes. of approach. Because of our lack of good fortune within these particular events of war, I am inclined to think that we should abide by the like conditions that are set forth here without necessarily saying I agree to them or naming like, what they were. Yes, <laughs> and like it actually again Wikipedia. So take it with a grain of salt, but it points out that some of the confusion amongst the people was like directly related to the fact that they were not sure whether or not he was surrendering. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, special items. Uh, cardboard tank. There you go. Snake, the R&D team came up with something new. Did I mention What's my this? father shot himself it's in the head? Tank. Oh my god. It's got enough room for two people. It's really, Same really lame. Same other cardboard box. Apparently the guy in front drives, and the guy in back is the gunner. I don't understand oh, it either, god. Snake. Who the hell came up with this thing? I'm sorry, boss. He meant well, I swear. I know it's nowhere as good as a real tank, but still, it's brilliant. Huh? The perfect synthesis of stealth and attack power. Compact, elegant design. The finest example of a weapon I've ever seen. <laughs> Seriously, guys, <laughs> I need to meet the guy who made this. I want to shake his hand. It's Sigant, actually. Serious? Snake, look at it. It's it's a masterpiece in every sense of the word. Even the Chris Masters agree? one. No, I... <gasps> Why is that? A tank? I like it. Puss? I hate tanks. But this one I think I could get used to. It's a peace tank. It's, it's a, a love zero gun. Zero emissions vehicle. It will not hurt the forest. Zero emissions. Yes, what? that was the nice thing people work, were talking guys. about. I see I made the right choice making you second in command. But I... Is there something wrong with me? Yes, there is. But it's not related to this current conversation. Uh... Chico's got nothing. More nuclear deterrence. Why not? Nuclear terrorism. Fun topic, always. Nuclear deterrence means preventing the use of nuclear weapons in conflicts between Please. states. <laughs> that was it. That's all I had to say. But what about other situations? Like what? 
three-way dances. on the rise in recent years, from separatist movements to far-left extremists. Mm -hmm. What would happen if nuclear weapons fell into terrorists' hands? You mean like ours? Without a state, that is, without territory of their yeah, own. Yeah, us. The chances of having nukes used against them are slim. They have no reason Who would to bother to nuke industry. an oil platform? <laughs> oh, They yeah. have no reason to hesitate to use nukes against their adversaries. You've got a point. All the ICBMs and strategic bombers in the world amount to nothing against a terrorist crew. You need boots right. on the ground. You need of a surge. Course, this is all still hypothetical. Countries keep their nukes under tight watch. There's no immediate danger of terrorists getting their hands on them. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, somebody stole Zeke in our nukes. Oh, my God. I guess we don't have nukes. So. A dead letter. Yeah. Nuclear terrorism. Interesting. But stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I I think we're currently trying to stockpile nuclear launch capability, aren't we? That I mean, we're trying to build a plot with Z? We're trying to build a Metal Gear. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right now, we I don't think they've gotten to the point yet where they're thinking about how to acquire nuclear weapons. They just but want something that's nuclear launch capable. Stomp around, make it die. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Sure. Sol <laughs> Boombos. No, oh, transmitted data to NORAD. There you go. Snake, how much do you know about the U.S. Homeland Air Defense Network? <laughs> uh, Let me tell you what you don't know. What goes on up in the sky. What I do know is that NORAD tracks Santa Claus on its radar. It sure does. <laughs> nice one. I didn't know you were a comedian. That's a real, come on, you, you uh, knew that. No, I'm serious. <laughs> it's true. NORAD tracks his... <laughs> Listen to me. Every December they set up a hotline and <laughs> more fake laughter from fake hell. Okay, okay, I get it. He's real, I tell ya. He used to bring me presents and shit. My clone daddy. <laughs> I didn't have a clone parent, so. <laughs> oh, he's not a clone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Snakey. As all good little boys know, keeping tabs on Santa Claus is a very important job for Nora. They have to protect him from the Russians. But they also have another mission. The one they were created for? Defending the Easter Bunny. And the Bunny. system they set up for that has been hijacked by Coldman. Mm. You mean Peace Walker's fake data transmissions? NORAD's early warning system is composed of DSP satellite mounted infrared like the pine sensors, line or something? And yeah. an array of surveillance radar stations across North America. The network sends out warnings to NORAD at Cheyenne Mountain. At where Raven the Rock. Human where the Enclave. Peace Walker, on the other hand, has to make its retaliation decisions autonomously. So it's set up to automatically receive the same data as NORAD through covert channels. Those channels were also used... Not like NORAD's channels, which anybody is able to monitor. Sure. Peace Walker reversed the system. To transmit a fake warning about incoming nuclear missiles outside it the usual created a fake system. enormous. I mean, <laughs> the system could have used better safeguarding. Nobody's going to argue with that. But cracking the AI? That seemed unimaginable. And you can see what happened. Yeah, I didn't understand it, though. <laughs> can we go back over how the ending of this game was supposed to have worked? And more about France. You know you love it. Like a wine. Fine wine. It gets Hello? better with age. Snake? Mon chéri? Was the world it's destroyed? <sighs> Can't you please do something about this pest? Who? Monsieur Miller. Uh, what you gonna throw now? up? Wine. Wine? He said he thought the soldiers might tire of having beer all the time. So he's brought in some wine instead. And then he gave me a bunch. A bunch in the oh, stomach. Nice. Fortified wine. The oh. years have been bad for French wine. Perhaps it is the bad weather we have had. But whatever the case, I, would prefer I told vodka. him the last thing you want to be drinking right now is French wine. Well, California and Chile have good wine too. But bah. then he goes and stocks the pantry with nothing but French wine from '72. <laughs> This stuff is a disaster. Can we, like, get you back to France? Come on, Cecile. Have a taste of the old country. And then it pulled down his <sighs> pants. <laughs> I had a terrible feeling about it. So, I decided just to taste it at first. Then and it then turns again. out he had done it because... And then a few more times. 
<laughs> it's always a mistake to taste French uh, wine. Just but when you it. do a tasting, don't you usually spit the wine out? But bottle after bottle, nothing but garbage. Garbage. Absolute garbage. <sighs> Not one half decent bottle in the whole lot. Test of the old country, says. So yeah, this woman, H Hideo Met, that inspired him to create this character Cannot must have been really flattered by the way it came out. What will we do with all this wine? The uh. guys aren't too picky when it comes to taste. Ugh. You sound just like Monsieur Miller. Huh? When I complain... You yes. sound like a ridiculous he said, he said, stereotype. No, that as is long more. as it gets the job done. <sighs> you people are such... Culinary savages. With your getter done. <sighs> Somebody take me back to Paris. Please. Well, Zeke's gonna have a rail gun. We can probably I, launch uh, you to Paris. I think you've had a little too much, Cecile. I've had way too much, Cecile, myself. Uh, oh, boom. Oh, oh no, good, there's, there's more. There's more. May 1968. There it is. A day that will live in infamy. like a very... How do I put this? Uninhibited woman. When you were rubbing your nads you all over that so? window. I am no different from other Parisian women. Not since May 1960. The day underwear May was outlawed. The general strike that almost brought down the president. And they put that right. hole in the wall but so that the men could see it all. Hmm. It started with the student movement at Strasbourg University. You see, University Paris is a very specific place in France. <laughs> where St. Nicholas does. But instead, sought reform at the school. Mm hmm. That helped ignite a fire in the hearts of scores of dissatisfied young people. Are you still drunk? And the movement spread all over France. It was more than just opposition to Vietnam and the de Gaulle administration. People Shouldn't also that be a soon? And the breaking away from other old values. Looking back, I am not sure what the main goal really was. To avoid having to shave case, your armpits? It was more of a young people's movement than a strike or a protest. Oh, so you're just young so, and it was like wanted to or something. get In loud. Some ways, perhaps, Spill some drinks on the we Citadel. But we blinded by mysticism, nor did we seek a return to nature. I see. So, while they wanted to retreat to their closed communes... We tried to change the world. You know and in doing be... so, we learned that when everyone All comes right. together, it can be done. You had so, a lot more success. Whoops. Different. In America, hippies uh, have just become a social problem. While I hear Japan's student movements crashed and burned. I wonder what was different. Good question. What was the big? I don't know much I about French myself. hippies, but I, are they responsible for the way France is now? I don't know. Yeah. So Hidia is like, here's a quick message to you kids: your hippies sucked, but hey, Japan's hippies suck too. French hippies. Now there are the That's hippies. That's the way to be. Oh, you're not going to check out the data files? I guess we could check out the data files. At this point, I don't know that we're going to get a uh, mission in we're this not. Uh, video. We're not. So. so we may as well get through. Strange Love Simulation. There you go. Operation Snake Eater Simulation. Didn't we? Wait, did we hear this as part of the game, though? Enter simulation date. August 24th. Simulation suit. Selenoyask, USSR. Mission. Support a covert agent whose objective is the rescue of a nuclear weapons scientist. Who is the agent? Your student. Your most beloved. Okay. Acknowledged. Define current mission. Sure, purpose. whatever. With your help, the agent has successfully made contact with the target. All that's left is to wait for recovery. Okay, sounds now, easy. Deduce the best course of action. Wait for recovery. I take the scientist away from the agent. What for? As a gift when I defect. Why are you defecting? To reform my special forces unit with my former comrades in arms. Some weird bee guy, a spider guy, <laughs> Yuri Gagarin. Why are you betraying your country? Funsies. I do not defect in order to betray America. Betrayal is merely the outcome of that defection. Response time is always slower here. Perhaps she lacks confidence in her judgment. Well, why does he think that this computer I am right here? Trust you. In addition to the scientist, I provide them with a portable nuclear warhead in order to win the favor of a Russian Gru officer. He's kind of a weird dude with a lightning thing going on. The nuke? Me? That's right. At a target inside Soviet territory. Okay, sure, if you say so. 
make my blood run cold. She's glacier. They blot out the future. How could I? Karma is... Is it my karma? Or perhaps awesome calm. The karma my mistake has brought upon us. My... 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 My attention. Mitchell. Discontinue forward reasoning. Cross-check with knowledge base. Affirmative. Cross-check complete. Revising conclusion as follows. I launched a missile, I sure. I steal the new weapons developed by the scientist, and then launch the nuke at the weapons design bureau. Forward and backward reasoning are in conflict. Attention. Return to forward reasoning. Stop telling me what to do. Your apprentice returns for the scientist. I send him away. He doesn't give up. I send my comrades to defeat him. All of them fail. Even the crew officer who oversaw your defection is defeated by your apprentice. What about Ocelot? What happens when he fights the two the Metal Gear? What is your course of action? I fight him. Why? With your crew patron dead, there's no reason for you to fight. Why not just run away? Why are you I asking an AI to explain the logical flaws him. of the previous I game? I do not see the reason. With a soldier of your caliber on his side, how could the crew officer be defeated to begin with? Did you betray him too? I... I've been waiting... for a long time. You could switch allegiance from Gru to KGB and take the remaining nuke as a gift. There's no chance they wouldn't welcome a hero of your stature. Drift away. My place is with them now. I didn't ask you that! Give me the basis for your reasoning. Tell me the truth! I'm distracted Politics by the music that's fading in. <laughs> Why won't you answer me? It's like you were just waiting for him to kill you. Relax, I'm just I an AI. Just Betrayed my country. I deserve to die. How can you say that? You can't be a traitor. You're not that kind of person. Wait, I'm a computer kill reasoning me. through something where kill one of the presupposed Stop facts it. is that I'm a traitor. Attention, discontinue reasoning. One must die and one must live. Stop it, smoke you. starts coming out of the ears of the Life robot ends. boss head. Isn't it beautiful? Shut down! Well, just, yeah, pull the power plug out of the back of the machine. Always in the same place. A reasoning goes haywire. Now leave it unplugged for about half a minute. Let it clear its cache. She says, looking at a janitor walking down the hall. One way. <laughs> Even if he tries to defy my torture by going, yes. <laughs> and uh, hey, Mr. B. Oh, Ava. Okay, okay. He's got a debriefing. Oh, is this history? just going to be them playing? Uh, possibly. Oh well. Well, we'll find out. You can make the uh, legacy joke again. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? Oh, pretty. At the time, I couldn't understand it, but now. I think I do. Snake. Remember to call Zed. She wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. Yeah, this would. This, this sounds like much you like so that's what it's going to be. But not this time. Do you want to do it again? I guess might as well. My orders from the government yeah. were to obtain the legacy. And <laughs> Actually, my orders were to obtain the legacy, but I figured out In what they words, meant. Nice. I'm yeah. supposed to kill you. See, it was the Chinese government, folks. The the detail is not in this particular clipping of the briefing, but uh, because you didn't. But because I made a promise to the boss. And she took my gun. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And it. you have to live. Otherwise, the series can't go anywhere. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. Now don't get all weepy she when you're saluting her grave at Arlington. Well what was going to happen. Yep. Self-sacrifice. Because that was her duty. I assume um, Strange Love didn't have a copy of this tape. I was going to say, this would have helped her out a lot. <laughs> it it's like, well, screw it. I'm not going to build an AI for, like, so a walking nuclear battle tank that will probably destroy the Earth. And the boss was the star of the show. It's showtime. So that yes. they could get the legacy that Colonel Logan inherited and destroy the Shagohod at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Vulcan's it's trust. It's the boss! <laughs> piano theme. The philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. 
everything was going according to plan. Till you showed up. something happened Shuck. that no one could have predicted. Uh, Chico's aliens Colonel invaded. Colonel Bogan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. Mm -hmm. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. Not in a southern state. So the operation uh. itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. Who knew they weren't innocent? And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This so we've only revealed it in two different games. Be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. This is bigger than Watergate, folks. The I mean, boss you know. <laughs> come back home alive. Watergate? Nuclear and attacks. She be allowed to kill herself. What? Watergate? Was there was there some kind of big no. scandal involving water at some point? That no, humans are not allowed. Yeah, no, the public can never know about Watergate. <laughs> that was the mission she was given, and she had no choice but to carry it out. Well, she did actually. Her death at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Oh, uh, it directly led to Peace Walker. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. Duty. Yes. A lesser she woman came out of duty. Would have been crushed. Such a she kind of enjoyed watching you kill the bee guy and the spider guy and the astronaut guy. And the oh no, guy. the taint. Dark spine. Please clean the taint. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, it's pretty much the same. As a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. Nuclear monster. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. If only she were and an no empress, they would be able her. to gloss over the facts. Mm. That was her final mission. But it turns but out that after beating what you think is the final mission, if you'd done side ops, you could have had additional ma uh, Metal Gear 3 missions. Of all people, that would have been to nice. Know the truth. She wanted to live on. Like reanimated corpse of Vulcan yeah. comes after you. And <laughs> uh, 3 Not really was a good... Uh, 3's probably my favorite game in the series. The way it's thrown together. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. History. We'll never know what she did. Strange. Look what you did. Strange love sure won't. No one will no. ever learn the truth. Our truth? No matter how many AIs they build for nuclear deterrence. We'll endure only in your heart. I thought the tape set it catches fire. Everything she did, she did for her country. Everything she do, she sacrificed she her life for and her honor her for her native land. Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. She was a real hero. Which is it, Trinidad or Tobago? <laughs> We're at war. Pick a side. <laughs> she will one day inspire a British guy to build an American-centered evil AI network that will control everything ever. Yes. So, you know, there's that. Right. So, that's pretty much all the briefing files now, right? <laughs> ever. Well, I mean, for now, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, this is probably not quite an hour yet, but uh, it's very <laughs> close. I think we can call it. In terms here. of talk time. We're going to call this one a video. I'm going to check and pray that uh, that all took. Um, when we come back next time, uh, we'll actually fight Chrysalis. How's that? <laughs> I know, it's a shocker. Anyhow, this is Bobo the Vulture. I'm Sir CG. And this has been uh, Let's Watch or Listen. Let's, let's, let's listen, listen to post game <laughs> chit chat. <laughs> of uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see all of you next time. Bye.